How many trees will I locate and identify on your topographic survey? So if you hire me to do a topo survey and your lot has some trees on it, what am I gonna do as a land surveyor? Why do we care? Why is that an important question? Two reasons why it's important. One is uh, it's gonna uh, have some relevance to what you are trying to do as the, as the client potentially. Uh, sometimes you care about the trees, sometimes you don't. Um, as the surveyor, that's going to be doing your topographic survey. I need to know that. I need to know how important it is to locate the trees. And one of the reasons why I care is because that can have a significant uh, impact on the cost of your topographic survey, depending on how many trees there are. Um, obviously, if you have a heavy for if you have a lot that's heavily forested, and you want me to locate all the trees, that that's going to add to the amount of time it takes to do the survey, right? Not only the field work, but also the mapping in the office. So, um, so you need to talk to your surveyor. Uh, you need to talk to them before uh, you get the surveyor under contract. She needs to understand what you're trying to do, and you need to talk with her about what exactly she's going to do when it comes when it comes to locating and identifying trees. So the answer is, the answer to the question is, how many trees will I locate on your topo? The answer is, it depends. It depends on what we've agreed to and what I'm getting paid to do. So let me give you just kind of our default here at Redefined Horizons. Now, every surveyor is, is different, so don't just assume this. Uh, that's why you need to talk to the surveyor that you're hiring to do your topo survey. But um, at my company, kind of our default is we will locate single trees with a diameter breast height. So that's the diameter of the tree at roughly breast height, okay? So four feet. Uh, if they're six inches or greater, uh, roughly, uh, we will locate single trees when we do a topo, typically. Um, if trees are uh, bunched together, so if, if the if the tree canopy gets fairly dense, then we will locate groupings of trees, not individual trees. Um, and that that's basically what you get here for our for our standard uh, scope of services for a topographic survey. Now, we can locate every tree on the property, no matter how small, and we can locate every individual trunk if you need us to do that. Sometimes clients do need us to do that, uh, but we need to know that ahead of time, and we've got to get paid for paid for that work. Um, so you want to you want to talk to your surveyor about that. Um, now, the couple tricky things that come up sometimes when you're dealing with trees on a topographic survey. So I want to just point those out. So we typically locate the face of the trunk or the center of the trunk. Um, so we can do either one. Um, usually, you want your surveyor to locate the center of the trunk, not the face of the trunk. And note the diameter of the trunk so that you can get the tree actually located in the in the right spot. Um, the other thing you have to understand is, unless you're shooting lodgepole pine, um, the, the, the actual spatial location of the trunk uh, can change, right? As you move up and down the trunk, the, the, the horizontal location of the trunk is going to change with something like an oak tree, for example. And so, uh, depending on what you're doing, you know, if you're trying to figure out building clearances or clearances for things around uh, the, the base of the tree, the base of the trunk at ground level, you may need, you may need some more information and you got to communicate that to your surveyor. You know, I remember this came up on a job one time where we had located um, the center of the tree trunks, but the engineer was trying to squeeze uh, concrete sidewalks in around the base of the trees, and they were pretty big trees, and that became an issue, right? Uh, so we ended up having to go back out, take some really good pictures, and actually uh, make some more measurements around the base of the tree at ground level, right? We're, we got to remember, we're typically shooting that tree at, at breast height. Um, so you need to think about that, right? The trunk location can change. You may care about where the tree's at at the ground level. You may care about where the branches are at if you're looking at like clearance for buildings, for example. Um, we don't typically do this, but if you ask your surveyor, they can also include what's called the drip line radius. That's, that's how big the tree canopy is on the tree. You know, where does the rain fall? That's why we call it a drip line. Oftentimes that is important and you want to know that. And then we can give you a rough idea of the type of tree. Um, so, you know, I can tell you, is it, is it a conifer or a broadleaf? You know, is it an oak or pine? Uh, that's about the extent of my personal tree knowledge. <laughs> some surveyors have more tree knowledge, some have less. Um, so talk to your surveyor about that. I get, uh, I get really nervous about uh, identifying tree types, especially when, it, when they might, you may need to identify the tree type for landscaping plan or for conservation reasons. Um, I'm probably not the right person for that. So what do you do if you need more? Um, if, you, if you need more information about your trees. Well, what you do is you hire a tree professional. They're called arborists. Um, I can help you hire one if, if you need to. Um, and an arborist can go out and properly identify the exact species of the tree, 
evaluate the age of the tree and the health of the tree, explain the environmental regulations that, and protections that might apply to the particular tree species that are on your property. He, can com he or she, the arborist, can communicate that information with your surveyor. They can work together to get that information on the topographic survey if it's needed. So, the, the basic point of the video is don't make assumptions about what the surveyor is going to do with trees on your topographic survey. Talk to them. Talk to your surveyor. Work it out, right? Uh, if you need to hire an arborist, hire an arborist. Um, and get make sure that you get the information that, that you need on your topographic survey. And the surveyor needs to know that ahead of time before he does the work so that they can properly price the survey for you, price the topographic survey.